Tell me about confidence. It's kind of an uphill battle almost every day, to some degree. There are moments and pockets where it's completely within reach, and other moments where you almost have to fight your inner self and the little voice in your head that keeps wanting you to play it small or keeps wanting to keep you safe. We have our flight or fight that goes off, right? We're always in survival mode as human beings, but what we need to think about is how we're gonna thrive. It's interesting because I think, I know I struggled with this growing up, and we, 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 we figure it out in our own ways. What's something that you have been doing to work on that confidence? And how has it impacted you in a positive way? Um, I said this in the video before, but who you surround yourself with is a really big piece of it. Because if you're around people that aren't confident, that aren't working on themselves, it's gonna be very hard for you to be that way. So that's number one. Number two, nipping your personal talk right in the butt. If you feel a negative energy coming on or a negative thought comes in, you let it come, acknowledge it, and then you almost have to replace it with something positive. So you're starting, to, okay, so like a scenario, you're going in a networking event, sure. and you feel like, oh, all right, I'm here by myself, I don't know anyone here, and then as soon as you start thinking negative, you, can, you, say, you, you, you catch it. You have to catch it, yeah, and sometimes you have to get into action before the belief catches up. So even if you don't want to wake up in the morning, you just want to lay curled up in your bed, it's raining, it's gloomy outside, you just get up and go to the gym and later you'll thank yourself. Why do people need confidence? So that they have belief in themselves and then they can go and share it with others. If you don't have confidence, it's really hard to get your message across. 